Hey guys, it's me, the Merrigan, and today we have the latest and greatest silencer from Gemtech, the Lunar 45. Will the Lunar 45 be outshined by Gemtech's popular GM45, or will it be sent back to the dark side of the moon? Find out here on the Mare Fugly Cool channel. Visual Observations The Lunar 45 and the GM45 do look quite similar, but don't let that fool ya. Gemtech, transform! That's right, the Lunar 45 was hiding a secret all along. In the short configuration, the Lunar is a hair shorter than the GM45, and to some operators, a quarter inch goes a long way. Silencer Construction the Lunar 45 features an individual baffle system, which brings the total parts count to 15. Now the GM45, on the other hand, is assembled with a mere 5 parts. Literally 5 parts. This is due to the GM45's G-Core monolithic baffle design. The edge here seems to be in favor of the GM45, but you have to consider that the Lunar 45 is a modular silencer that is adaptable to both long and short configurations, while the GM45 is only fixed at one length. Silencer weight. The Lunar 45 weighs 12.2 ounces in its long configuration. The weight is not the heaviest nor the lightest when compared to other silencers in the 8 inch plus length category. The GM45, on the other hand, checks in at 11.15 ounces. 1.35 ounces might not seem all that heavy, but when it dangles off the end of your pistol barrel, believe me, balance and handling will be affected. Accuracy test. First up, we have my favorite 45 ACP host, the SIG 220. When I need a 45 auto that's stone cold reliable, look no further than this old German boat anchor. Lunar 45, long variant, Sig Sauer 220 host. Clear. In the long configuration, I observed a slight point of impact shift. At 10 yards, my group was thrown slightly higher than the point of aim and pushed a hair to the left. Point of impact shift is pretty normal with silencers, and to me, this can be remedied with different ammunition and or sight adjustment. Shortly configured, the Lunar 45 did perform to my expectations. Aiming for Zork's nose, the rounds landed below the point of aim, which is completely normal for a vintage SIG 220 because of the dot the eye sight picture. Lead necklaces are actually in fashion this time of year, and I don't know why Zork is so upset. With the GM45 on the P220, all rounds hit the intended target zone. The vertical displacement is caused by the quick application of .45 ACP ammunition. Here is an interesting and unique host for the Lunar vs. GM45 shootout, the CZ P09 Suppressor Ready model in Urban Grey. I picked this pistol up recently from my good friend Mike at Lone Star Gun and Supply. Mike, he was pretty interested to see how well a 9mm pistol would perform with a 45 caliber silencer, and the results are to follow. Lunar 45 CZ P09 Accuracy test.
clear. Zork's long-lost second cousin, Dork, was not very happy with the results of this accuracy test. When firing a CZP-09 for the first time with the Lunar 45 attached, you have a very high chance of getting carried away with the 21 rounds on tap. The Lunar 45 in its long configuration on the CZ shot point of aim and was 100% reliable. Lunar 45 long, 147 grain, full metal jacket, browning, CZP-09 test. Curious to see how a subsonic 9mm load would do in the Lunar 45, I decided to try out Browning's BPT 147 grain FMJ ammunition. The suppression was really great and it was like just slightly quieter than the SIG 220 host with the 230 grain full metal jacket. Clear. Gemtech GM45, 147 grain browning, full metal jacket, CZ P09. Clear. The Lunar in its short configuration shot so similarly to the GM45 on the CZ host that I decided to speed up the test for the sake of time. Both balanced very well and shot a little left of my point of aim. The user adjustable rear sight of the CZ P09 will easily adjust for this. Gemtech's Lunar 45 in the short configuration was to a small degree better at suppression than the GM45. All in all, the reliability of both silencers was 100% during the tests at the Lone Star handgun shooting range. The Gemtech Lunar 45 and GM45 are similar on paper, yet totally different silencers internally and externally. I really had a lot of fun here at Lone Star handgun range, and hopefully someday you guys and gals out there can check it out. They have some of the best private base setups that I've ever seen at the ranges around here in Texas. And on top of that, their staff are always really super friendly. Well, off to the ranch to have some more Mayor Fugly Cool fun. Move and shoot test. Lunar 45 long, CZ P09 9mm suppressor ready. Walking in on target at 25 yards, I felt that the Lunar 45 helped to keep the recoil down to a minimum. The weight of the silencer was not too heavy to throw off my aim or balance, and it did not loosen from the barrel threads whatsoever. Move and shoot, Gemtech GM45, SIG220 host. Getting very similar results with the GM45 on the SIG220 host, I am definitely a happy camper. In my hands, both silencers handle very well, and most of the weight is actually located closer to the barrel, which speeds up the sight picture. All in all, both silencers do not feel cumbersome at all, and they flow naturally in your hands.
You may be wondering how I can use the GM45 or the Lunar on a 9mm host such as the CZP09. A really cool feature of these silencers is that the lid piston cores can be swapped between each other in different thread pitches. Now the piston change can easily be done on the range or in the field with just your bare hands. Really, it's a great feature. Alright guys and gals, well, there you have it. The shootout between the GM45 and Lunar45 has come to a close. Through my observations, both silencers are strongly built, suppressed quite well, and are priced very reasonably. In my opinion, the Lunar45 and its long and short configuration suppress better than the GM45, but, on the other hand, the GM45 is a far simpler design, less parts, and easier to clean. Personal preference aside, you really just can't go wrong with both of these choices. The Lunar 45 is not available right now at this moment, I'm actually testing the prototype, but it will be available soon at Silencer Shop, with a price just slightly higher than the GM45. Why do I shop with Silencer Shop? Well, to start, they have the largest inventory of silencers available on the market today, and the prices are just really hard to beat. Their staff are super friendly and are friends of the mayor, and they'll definitely help you choose a great performing silencer for your favorite host. There are some really great deals going on right now, so give them a call or visit them on the website when you get a chance to do so. Tell them that the mayor sent you. Also, plus one to Gemtech, as they have the greatest silencer designs while being in the silencer business since 1976. The Gemtech brand is used in all branches of our military and by numerous SOF personnel around the globe. The mayor trusts Gemtech, as their silencers are extremely reliable. Last, I'd like to take some time to thank Mike at Lone Star Gun & Supply. Located in Helotus, Texas, this gun shop has the best prices that I've seen around the greater San Antonio area. Mike, he loves to carry a little bit of everything in stock for shooters of all levels. I picked up this CZ P09 suppressor ready threaded barrel, super high night sights, you know, in that urban gray color recently. And I really love the color because it matches the mayor's uniform quite well. Mike is a super friendly guy, but he really, really knows his guns. So definitely give him a call or drop on by when you get a chance. Remember to thumbs up this video and make sure to leave a comment in the comment box below to suggest other silencers to test or anything that's on your mind. I'd really like to hear what you guys and gals think of this production as it really helps me to improve in the future. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. When you subscribe to the Mayor Fugle channel, you get all the awesome Mayor Fugly Cool action directly to your smartphone, tablet, PC, TV, and even to that Pentium 2 processor computer that your grandmother still uses. How does it still work? It's probably a gateway infused with Santa's magic. P.S. Please click the dinner bell icon next to the sub count. That delivers my videos to you in light speed hyper ultra realism. This was a really fun comparison for me, and I hope you guys and gals got a lot of info out of it. That's the mayor. Thanks for watching.